All was in suspense, all calm in silence, all motionless, still, and the expanse of the sky was empty. In the darkness, in the night, they talked together, they thought, and they pondered. They reached an accord, together they conceived light and life. May the water be taken away, emptied out, so that the plate of the earth may be created. May it be gathered and become level. Then may it be sown. Then may dawn the sky and the earth. There can be no worship, no reverence given by what we have framed and what we have shaped, until humanity has been created, until people have been made. Then the earth was created by them. Merely their word brought about the creation of it. In order to create the earth, they said, Earth, and immediately it was created. Just like a cloud, like a mist, was the creation and formation of it. Then they called forth the mountains from the water. Straight away the great mountains came to be. The waterways were divided, their branches coursing among the mountains. Thus the waters were divided, revealing the great mountains. Straight away were created cypress groves and pine forests to cover the face of the earth. Then they created the animals, but the animals only squawked and chattered and roared. Their speech was unrecognizable, for each cried out in a different way. When they heard this, the framer and the shaper said, their speech did not turn out well. They were not able to speak our names. We are their framer and their shaper. This is not good. Then came their next attempt to create humanity. They created the mud person. At first it spoke, but without knowledge. Straight away it would merely dissolve in water. Then they divined what was to be done before the grandmother and the grandfather. They created the effigies of carved wood. The men they created from the coral tree and the women from reeds. The effigies of carved wood were human in looks and human in speech. They came into being, they multiplied, they had daughters, they had sons. But there was nothing in their hearts and nothing in their minds, no memory of their mason and their builder. They walked without purpose. And so they were destroyed by their creators. It is said they became the monkeys who dwell in the forests. At this point, the text of the Popol Vuh breaks off the account of the creation and goes to the exploits of the hero twins. They defeat seven Macaw, who puffed himself up in the darkness as though he were the sun, as well as his two sons, Zipakna, who made mountains, and Kabra Khan, who caused earthquakes. They next defeat the lords of Shibalba, the evil underworld. Finally, they are transformed and rise to the heavens as the sun and the moon. This happens at the same moment that the sun rises for humanity, later in our story. <laughs>